All right, it's about that time of the year, so I uh, need to check all the tire pressure in all the cars. And while I'm doing that, I figure we might as well do a little review on this little old thing right here. It's a handheld uh, tire pump or compressor, air compressor. And we've had it a year or so. I uh, used to have a... Um, a, a plug-in one and so we went with that and so now we have this and uh, I'll tell you in a minute if I like it or not because it's got its good points and bad points I'm gonna get a battery right here that's fully charged and I could get one of those but and they are fully charged but they don't show it all right, now then, it is ready to go. What I, what I do like about it is, a, a really, it's just so small, easy to use. What I don't like about it is when you're toting it, you'll, you'll grab it right there and, and you'll, and, and uh, it'll run while you're walking so it has a dial in the back a little uh, uh, digital and uh, let's go see let's see if we can't air up some tires alrighty first thing you want to do is check to see what the air pressure in the tire is supposed to be and in this particular instance it's 30 pounds per square inch front and rear and spare so no the spare is 60 pounds but we're just doing the outside tires anyway but it's 30 pounds per square inch and most all vehicles will show you that to begin with I'm gonna check this one right quick with a this one has 26 pounds in it oh sorry Let's see if you can get that about 26 pounds so and this is one thing I do not like about about this thing let me put this down is uh well a couple of things i don't like about it when you're when you're toting it you tend to grab it right here and and it uh and it goes you know it, it, it the trigger's great but uh you know you need to grab it right here if you're going to tote it around you know but uh, that's one thing and this this I'm not sure about. Right now it's showing 25.5. So uh, you just so that's about right, right? About 26, 25 and a half. So, uh, but this thing is confusing. So and I'll show you. Let me match the trigger. It is showing 28. But you let off the trigger, and it's 26. 28 is what it's putting into the tire, I'm assuming. And 26 is what's actually in the tire. And, that, and that's what we're doing. So, Anyway, that's, it's kind of confusing. That's what I don't care about it. But it is accurate in that. But other than that, I love this thing. So uh, let's just see how many, air, uh, how many tires it'll air up. All right. Another thing I don't like is you have to let off of it to find out how much air you got in it. 
We want 30 and it's 31 and a half. And it's 30 and you let off of it and it's 29 and a half. So that's, a, that's something else that I don't care about, but it's got 29 and a half in it, so we can... Thirty-two and a half and thirty point five. So that's close. When you undo the deal, it's going to drop just a little bit, and you, of course, when you grab it, it's just going to go. So. All right, let's air some more up. There's our 30. There's our 30. All right, that's car number one. Let's see here, car number two. It shows front. 35, rear 35, and the uh, spare is 60, <laughs> we're not going to do the spare again, 35 and 35, alright, here we go, alright, what's it got at, 29, so this has got to be a while, 38 and a half, and 35 and a half, Thirty-five. About the time I took it off. Now then, that's why you need to check your tires in the spring and in the fall. All right, let's see what this one does. What this one has in it. All right. This one has 29, supposed to be 35. <laughs> 35, just, just about 35. All right, and this one has 31. <laughs> All right, let's get it up to 35. This one has 29.5 to start. So. There we go. 35. All right. Oops. Got to grab the trigger. All right. That's vehicle number two. That's eight tires, one battery. Let's check the last vehicle and see what the uh, what it's supposed to have. Does this one have it? Yeah, here it is on the door. And it's showing about 35 and 35. I'm sorry. Can you see that? Where am I at? 35 and 35? So, this one, let's see what it's got. All right. 26. So that's nearly 10 pounds on this one. There's 35. It is a little warm, but not hot yet. Let's try this. And 
this one is 26 and a half. So that's about a nine pounds there. All right. That's 10 tires in a row. Not giving this thing much of a chance to get a rest. But, ah, quit that. That's what I don't like about it. There we are. Let's see what that is. That's 30, so that's a little better. So we need about five more pounds. There's our 35. No. There's our 35. And there's tire number what is it, 11. And last. One. That one. Let's see what it's got. 23. This one's really, really low. So, all right. This is gonna take a little bit. So, I'm gonna stand up. That's 35. Shoot a little more in it. And that's it. All right. That is 12 tires. And you just put this up here on top and this. Uh, Click it in right there, and it stays. You can tote it around. That's 12 tires we aired up. Uh, one battery. And it's still going strong. It did not get hot. This is hotter than the motor. There's just a motor just a little warm. But after 12 tires, that's pretty good. I would give this one a, a definite thumbs up. And I would recommend anybody to buy this thing because I, I I absolutely love it. You don't have no cord to go grab. Uh, you know, I, I just like it. Here's the specs on it. I think you can see that. That's what it is. And that's a 18-volt uh, Ryobi power inflator. Is it good? Yes, it's good. All right. That's my first Ryobi review, and I hope there'll be many more. I guess that's it for now.